so our registration process is done so if you go to the database we can see the record is inserted into our database now the thing is we need to log in with these data so this is our registration page and i already registered so just log in here so we can log in from here so how we can log in this so just go to the visual studio code here we have login.blade.php if you now click on this login it will not work basically we have not provided any action for this so first we will add the action so here write the action equal to suppose anything so first we need to create the action from so here write route get sorry it will be the post okay and here the link will be the login user okay and the next the controller name so here the controller name and colon colon class and i will create a function to login so right here login user okay simple and i want to set the name of this route so here just write login hyphen user okay so basically this is the routes we need to use inside the blade okay so just go to here and right here sorry route and here just paste this login user and the method will be the post okay and the thing is for laravel we need to use the csrf token so basically it secure your application okay and this is the csrf token so now just go to the browser and just click on the login so it will just go to the login user the second bracket is coming why okay so this is the coming okay so back and click on this so it is showing the login user the login user does not exist because in the routes we have created this link with this login user so we need to create a function for this so just go to here that is public function and my function name is login user so we'll get some request from the from so use request here so right here request okay request dollar request so now just to refresh this we are getting the blank page so why it's blank page because we have not provided any data and there is no validation so now we need to add the validation inside the controller so i have already created the validation for registration so here i will just use these things also so we don't need name here and the same validation for email and password and we need to display the error message inside the login so just copy this from the registration page we have already done in the login page so write your email so paste it here and also for password just paste it after the password okay so now just go to this here and click on login so the email field is required and password field is required so i am providing some random email and it's showing the email must be a valid email address but our provided email is vanished so i need to get the old record so for this we have a function that is write old so there is laravel function that is old and here they provide the name that is for here email okay so now refresh this and click on here so it's showing email field is required so suppose right here test at the test.com and click on login so the validation is gone and the email is also present it's not vanishing okay so all are ready now login this so this is the login function so here we will write the login logic so first we will get the request inside the email and password and here we will use dollar user equal to first i will check whether the email id is present inside this database or not so right here user user is the model name and we'll check using this where that's the allocant query and let's check the column name the email equal to 
the requested email so right here request email and we'll get the single record so i want to get this first okay so if the user is present so right if user is true then it will show some message that is a success message else it will show the failure message okay so first write the failure message here so just copy from registration page so there is the session we already done in the registration page so just copy and paste this so if success then it will print the success message or if fail then it will print the fail message so before that we need to set this success and failure so if the user is not found that means it will display the failure message so return back and we'll write with the message fail and for fail we'll say the message this email is not registered okay so now just go and check so just refresh this unexpected so in a 48 number line so right here semicolon and just refresh this so i am testing with a random email and i am using some password so it's showing the email id is not registered okay so we need to provide a valid email address and if we provide valid address we need to check the password so we'll check the password if the thing is here my password in the database is has encrypted so we need to check the input password with this okay so first we'll convert the input password with has and we'll compare okay so write if the has colon check so what will be the check so the dollar request password okay with the user password okay the user password is getting from here and we'll check with this okay so just use this so if this will find that means it can be login otherwise the password is not matching so write the failure message so fail and here write password not matches okay and we will write the login condition here so if we log in so right here request arrow session so we will write the session function here and for this we need to use the session on the top of the controller so right here session and here just use session and we will create a session variable that is we will use put and we will store the login id here so i am putting the name that is the login id and inside the login id we are saving user dot id that means we will saving the id of the logged in user and after that we will just want to redirect into the dashboard okay so first we will redirect into the dashboard but we have not any dashboard link so we need to create this link first we will create inside the routes so just go to here and create a link so here write route get dashboard okay and if this dashboard link is calling so it will call a function from the custom auth controller and this is the class and we'll call a method the method name is also dashboard okay so i am providing the same name okay so inside the custom auth controller we need to use this so create another function public function dashboard okay so here i am writing simple text that is written welcome to your dashboard 
so i'm writing simple text further we'll create a blade and inside the blade we can decorate our page in our own way okay so first we will try to log in so just use the email id that is david at the right gmail.com so refresh this and paste it here and i will provide some different password which are not here so write in random password and click login so it is writing the email id has already taken so these are coming for this validation actually we are wrongly writing these things so we don't need this unique check when we log in so this is the reason for this error so write david at that gmail.com and one two three four five six this is the original password and i am adding some random text so it should not log in it will say the password not matches or something so here password not matches now i am trying to get the proper user id and password and then login so it is showing welcome to dashboard so our login process is done and we can access the dashboard now the thing is our login is done our registration section is done so what is the left things so we need to log out from the account so how to log out so for this we will create another file that is we will write return view and here just create another file that is dashboard okay so just create dashboard here so inside the views we will create dashboard dot blade dot php okay so simply we will use the bootstrap also here and we don't need this form so i am removing this from section and here we will write welcome to dashboard right so now just go to here and refresh this we can see welcome to dashboard here i want to see the users data and the logout okay so basically when you create a proper application they have a design that is the proper way there will be the logout in the proper designing but here i am creating a simple table and inside the table i am trying to create a logout from and in the table i want to see the users details also okay so go to the dashboard.blade.php so here just write table and there is the table and inside the table i want to add the tier and inside the tier i will create sorry first t head okay and right here t head and here we'll create t body so all are coming from bootstrap actually t body okay so there is spelling mistake t body and inside the t body we will print some data and inside the th we will write the heading so first heading is name and email and the action inside the action we will add the logout okay and here write email so just do this inside this td here so write td so before that tier slash tier and write td just copy three times and here we'll create the logout from so here href logout okay and right here logout and close the anchor tag okay now just go to here we can see the table is created and only logout is there but we have not any link for logout so that it's showing the 404 not found and we need the details of the user inside here so name and email so here how we can do this so we are inside the dashboard function and here we can get access of user with this session of which we have created while we logged in okay so now just create a array dollar data equal to array and if the session has 
what will be the login id okay so if the session has the login id that means it's logged in otherwise it's not logged in then it will get the data from user table so we can write the same query here so we just copying this from previous and pasting it here and we are passing the data into the dashboard okay so write compact and using compact we can pass any data so we are passing the data into the blade okay so just go to here and write dollar data name and in the same way dollar data email okay so write email okay now just go to here and we can see undefined variable request okay so what is the error so actually we are using this we don't need actually we need id equal to session id okay so write it here session get id right now we can get the david greek and email is david at the gmail.com which are logged in okay so all things are ready now we need to use the logout okay so when you click on this logout link it will log out so first we need to create a routes for this so here right route get logout okay so write logout and we'll create a function inside this custom authentication controller so call the customer authentication controller class and the function name is logout right so we'll create a logout method inside here so write public function logout okay so what we need to do for logout we need to do simple forward the login id means we have setting the login id when we logged in and we will removing this login id from the session when we logged out okay so write if dollar session has login id so just copy these things from here okay and then session pull so pull is the function to forward full login id okay so first we are checking the login id is existing session not and if exist then we will pull and finally we will redirect to the login page okay redirect to the login page so right here login right and we need to use the return here simply so now if we just go to here and refresh this this is the logout okay so login logout and registration process is done but this authentication section is not completely done because the problem is we have only logout but if we just going to access the dashboard then it are accessing means this page should not come so as it is not logged in we are not getting any name any email there's a reason it's getting error but the main thing is after logout we should not access this link so when we will log in then if we just logged in with our proper access then we can access dashboard otherwise we cannot access and after login suppose i am logging with a proper access and click on login and if we still go to here login we can getting access this should not be done okay so what we need to do here so we need to separate the links with the middleware so we'll create middleware to restrict this link